Welcome back inside TSTV Studios. As College Press Box moves on, it's time for Unhooked. I'm Nick Walters, joined by college basketball analyst Steve Helwick, here to talk sports off the 40 acres. As winter storm Stella freezes over the Northeast, March Madness heats up. Missed any action? Don't fret. Steve has you covered. Thank you, Nick. Let's sweet 16 for the Badgers. And with number one seed Villanova knocked out, the four seeds are the only seeds to not lose a game thus far. Florida, West Virginia, Purdue, and Butler are all still alive entering the Sweet 16. So, an all four seed Final Four could be in the cards. Villanova, Wisconsin wasn't this weekend's only upset, was it, Steve? And Michigan's win extends their record on neutral courts to 8 0. In a tournament made up of only neutral courts, the Big Blue streak may just continue. The Gamecocks win certainly turned heads, but even broke records. South Carolina scored 65 in the second half, marking the most points ever scored against Coach K in a single half. As the Longhorns watch from home, the bracket of 68 has dwindled to a sweet 16. In the process, not one of the millions of brackets escaped the weekend unscathed. Zero perfect brackets remain, Steve. 18.8 .8 million brackets were filled in ESPN's tournament challenge. Only 18 remain with all Sweet 16 teams correct. After a little long division, that comes out to 99.999904% of brackets busted. Steve, two rounds into these playoffs, what has surprised you the most? Well, Nick, my bracket. March Madness is must-see television every single year. Amidst all the storylines, which of this week's eight matchups catches the most attention in your eyes, Steve? Soon the Sweet 16 will become an Elite Eight. And then, of course, a Final Four. Steve, some teams are truly contending and others are just merely coasting. Project for us which programs will outlast these next two rounds and make it to Phoenix in April. Well, I like the eight seed Wisconsin in the Final Four. Go bold or go home, Steve. Of that Final Four, which team will cut the nets on April 3rd, taking the helm as national champions of college basketball? It's it. We'll see if Steve's dart throw will prove accurate over the coming weeks. Even with number one seed Villanova and Vegas favorite Duke out of the picture, no team is even at 20% odds to win the tournament, according to ESPN. For all bracketeers, the unpredictable nature of March Madness is, yes, maddening. Coming up on College Press Box, we narrow our focus back on Austin. A look ahead to this week's action in Texas sports on the other side of the break. <laughs> 